Hello everyone, our lesson for today is all about finding the common multiples and LCM of 2 to 4 numbers using continuous division. We have some steps in finding the LCM using continuous division. Number one, write the given numbers in a horizontal line to determine a common prime factor that will divide all the numbers. Number two, Write this common prime factor to the left side of the numbers and write the quotient below the numbers. Repeat the process until there is no common prime factor or divisor. Number 3. Multiply all common prime factors and the remaining numbers which do not have a common factor. To so understand the steps in finding the LCM or the least common multiple of a numbers, then we're going to answer some examples. Number one, what is the LCM of 6 and 12? To get the LCM of these two numbers, first is we're going to write this one in a horizontal line, 6 and 12. Then we're going to find the prime divisor of 6 and 12. Okay, 6 and 12 are both divisible by 2, so we divide it by 2. 6 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 3. 12 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 6. Okay, then 3 and 6 also are both divisible by 3, so we divide it by 3. 3 divided by 3, the answer is equal to 1. 6 divided by 3, the answer is equal to 2. So, our answer now is 1 and 2 below. Is there any common factor between 1 and 2? Okay, there's none. So, we can have now our LCM. Okay, we're going to multiply all the prime factors and the numbers below. Okay, we're going to multiply 2 times 3 times 1 times 2 get the LCM. 2 times 3, the answer is equal to 6. 6 times 2, 6 times 1, the answer is equal to 6. And 6 times 2, the answer is equal to 12. So, the LCM of 6 and 12 is equal to 12. Another example, what is the LCM of 8, 12, and 14? Okay, 8, 12, and 14, we're going to write this one in a horizontal line. So, 8, 12, and 14 are both divisible by 2, so we divide it by 2. 8 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 4. 12 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 6. And 14 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 7. Okay, is there any common factor between 4, 6, and 7? Okay, for the three numbers, there's none, but for 4 and 6, we have. Okay, these two numbers are both divisible by 2, so we divide it by 2. 4 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 2. 6 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 3. And just bring down 7. Then, we're going to evaluate 2, 3, and 7. Is there any common factor between the three numbers? Okay, there's none, so... We're going to multiply the prime divisors and the number below. So our LCM is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. So 2 times 2, the answer is equal to 4. 4 times 2, the answer is equal to 8. 8 times 3, the answer is equal to 24. Then 24 times 7. 7 times 4 is 28. Regroup 2, 14 plus 2 is 16. Okay, our answer is 168. The least common multiple of 8, 12, and 14.
Next example, what is the LCM of 4, 8, 10, and 12? Okay, we're going to write these numbers in a horizontal line. 4, 8, 10, and 12. Then, we're going to find the common divisor. Prime divisor. Okay, that is equal to 2. 4 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 2. 8 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 4. 10 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 5. And 12 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 6. Is there any common factor between 2, 4, 5, and 6? For the four numbers, there's none. But for 2, 4, and 6, this three numbers are divisible by 2. So, 2 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 1. 4 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 2. Then just bring down 5. Then 6 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 3. Okay, 1, 2, 5, and 3. Is there any common factor? Okay, is there none? So, we can have now our LCM. We're going to multiply our common divisor and these number below okay our lcm is equal to 2 times 2 times 1 times 2 times 5 and times 3 so 2 times 2 the answer is equal to 4 4 times 1 the answer is equal to 4 4 times 2, the answer is equal to 8. 8 times 5, the answer is equal to 40. 40 times 3, the answer is equal to 120. So the LCM or the least common multiple of 4, 8, 10, and 12 is equal to 120.